Oh my God, ew. <laughs> this is what I look like right now. Oh my God, no. What's up my peeps? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday. Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday. So it's going on 9.30 a.m. and I've been up since six. All I've eaten was one potato chip <laughs> that James just fed me because I'm starving and the only reason why I waited literally three hours to film is because I couldn't physically film. James was working, he works from home and um, I wasn't able to make a peep. So here I am about to make a peep now. So, so all I have is one chip in my belly and black coffee. So I not feeling too hot right now. I gotta eat. This is my get up right now. Woo, woo. <laughs> so first things first, I like to make my omelet. It's a spinach and feta omelet. Very, very Greek. You guys finish? Oh, good. I'll show you how I prepare the omelet and my oats. So guys, you need some healthy carbs in the morning, especially if you do work out. So we're gonna be working out pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some oats. I put in a little bit of chia seeds. A little bit of coconut oil. You need those natural fats, baby. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna eat it like that, that's nasty. Um, I put in a little, uh, little tiny bit of my protein almond milk. And then I do a scoop of my Invigor 8 chocolate protein powder. Get some protein up in here. So this is what it's looking like in here. So while I'm waiting for the hot water for my oats, fill up this bad boy. You need to keep hydrated, especially when you wake up in the morning, your body's naturally dehydrated from not drinking water for like eight hours. So I love this thing. I got it from TJ Maxx and it holds 3000 milliliters of water. You are supposed to be drinking about half of your body weight in ounces. So I believe I weigh about 120, 125, something like that. So um, I should be drinking 60 ounces of water, which equal about or around an average of 2000 milliliters. So I should be drinking this much water a day, but I always try to overachieve with the water because the water better. And I just do the whole dang thing. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make my scrambled omelet, or whatever you wanna call it. Two brown eggs. A little bit of dash of pepper and Himalayan pink salt. We don't use like cooking spray, it's just more natural to use the oil. A drink of my black coffee. Feta is actually one of the best cheeses that you can eat, it's the healthiest, very good for you. One of the healthiest fats that you could possibly put in your body is avocado. I love these, these are cuties. They're so cute and easy to peel, except this one. All right guys, so just to reiterate everything I got going on here, I got protein oats going on right here for my natural carbs I'm gonna need for the day. Never skip out on the carbs. I don't care what anybody says. Natural carbs all the way. And then I got my little scrambled egg omelet with feta cheese and spinach. I got some, I got a whole avocado right here, extra natural fats. And last but not least, I got my little clementine. You do need natural sugars and vitamin C, obviously, especially right now because it's like two degrees outside and I haven't been feeling very well. So, and then I got my, my water for the day. This is how our green tea is doing. Just gonna let it steep for a hot minute. Whoa, how many did you put in here? <laughs> uh, big handful. Okay. So James put a big handful of tea bags in there. There's probably about eight for this entire thing, but it's gonna fill up a huge jug for us that we're gonna be drinking for a few days, so it's gonna work out. And you know, me and my green tea, I just need a little bit of that like honey, baby. Ooh, gotta sweeten it up a little bit. Come on now. All right guys, I think this qualifies as what I eat in a day. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. I'm gonna share with you guys the vitamins that I take every single morning. 
Um, always after breakfast. I do not take anything on an empty stomach unless I want to throw it all up. So, first off, I take my woman's multivitamin. I take a fish oil. Omega-3s are very, very, very important to have a part of your diet, especially if you do work out. This really is beneficial for your joints. Keep that in mind. I take a biotin for hair, skin, and nails because honestly, no matter how great my diet is, my nails are always um, weak and my hair is brittle and the more help I get, the better. And the last thing I take is CLA. This I swear by. It stands for... <laughs> um. Conjugated. Conjugated. Linoleic. Okay, linoleic. This stands for... <laughs> Conjugated. I can never say it. C -c -c Congelated. Congregation. Conjugated. Linear acid. <laughs> Just say CLA. I don't know. Um, conjugated linoleic acid. Thank you. <laughs> Basically what this helps you with is, um, decreasing your water weight. And it also helps to um, retain lean muscle mass, which, you know, I'm trying to do that, okay? Okay, so it's about noon right now and we're about to hit up that gym. So before I forget, I always forget to do this, but I'm gonna drink some apple cider vinegar. I don't go overboard because it burns the crap out of my stomach, but I'm gonna do about a tablespoon or whatever this is, a spoonful. It, it, ooh, right on the carpet. Uh, yep, always get the one with the mother. It just has more uh, natural bacteria in it, which is very good for your intestines. And this is a nice detox, and oh my god, I don't have a steady hand at all. <laughs> Woo! If I was half asleep before, I am not now. It's always good to just like flush it down with some aqua. So I'm gonna do. It's already starting to burn my tummy. I don't suggest doing that right before the gym, but I do have a 20 minute drive to the gym, so it's gonna give you some time to just like get down there. Normally, right before the gym, I will eat a snack. Um, I don't like being on an empty stomach, but because I ate breakfast really late today, I am not hungry at all. I can't even think about eating. But if I were to eat a snack, it would absolutely be, that's my hair tie, a banana. Need that potassium and it will help with muscle cramps so you won't cramp up as much if you eat a banana. And or I would eat almonds. This one just has light salt, sea salt. So I don't like almonds that don't have anything on it. I, they make me gag. So these will hold you over really nice natural fat. Even a spoonful of natural peanut butter right before a workout will just keep you nice and satisfied so your stomach's not like growling halfway through. And last but not least, I am bringing along with me I put it in a little Tupperware container. My protein, because you want to drink uh, some protein or eat protein right after a workout, and because it is a 20 minute drive for me, I want to get that protein in as soon as possible. So right now I'm using Iso Pure. You could get this at GNC. They just came out with the citrus lemonade, and I was like, I need that because I love lemonade. If you guys don't know, Iso Pure is one of like the purest forms of protein powder you can get. I normally hate the taste of protein drinks, like. Ew, but this is so light and powdery. It mixes in um, like clear. It doesn't, it doesn't have a thickness to it. It doesn't have that like dairy, like nasty creaminess to it. It's just super light. After the gym, when I fill up my water, I'll just throw it right in. Alrighty y'all, it is almost 3.30 now and we're about to cook Zin Zin soon. We do eat an early dinner because we just like to eat earlier. We don't like to eat too late because we like to snack later. Right now, uh, before we make dinner, I'm starving and I gotta eat something. So um, I'm almost done with my protein. This is what it looked like. Mm -hmm. But I also poured myself um, the green tea that you saw me make earlier. Uh, I just threw it in my little teamy tumbler. I mix between um, drinking the teamy some days, but some days I just want regular green tea with the um, lemon. And I like it because it has a little strainer. So even when I drink it, I'm not getting like lemon up in my mouth. That's why I love this thing. I got, oh my God, I love this. Cherry tomatoes with mozzarella balls. I just cut them in half and um, so I got it marinated in extra virgin olive oil. First cold press, so good. With the Himalayan pink salt, pepper, 
and garlic powder. Got some fresh cut cucumbers up in here. All right, and we're gonna dip it in um, hummus. We just bought some hummus, roasted garlic. We got more garlic, we like garlic. And this one's interesting. I've never tried it before, but we just had to try it in honor of Super Bowl Sunday. Um, buffalo style hummus, okay. We also got what's left of our organic rainbow baby carrots and our baby sweet peppers. Oh my God, I love sweet peppers. So we got going on now, we're just gonna snack and then um, I'll show you what we're ripping up for dinner. Hey! I'm already being ignored on Super Bowl Sunday. Girls, you know what it's like when your man be ignoring you because he wants to watch football? Like for real? What's wrong with you? Can't right now. Football. Super Bowl Sunday football. Not today, babe. It's Super Bowl Sunday day. I don't want to realize that thing the water on both sides. I think that's why it was a carnival. Today we're gonna cook up some uh, turkey meat, okay? Like lean turkey meat. And we're gonna make, we're gonna try to make like a Mexican bowl out of it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Like a, like a, like a nice Mexican burrito bowl, but like healthy version, you'll see. Other than turkey meat, we really don't eat a lot of meat at all. We do stay away from things like chicken. We don't really eat beef at all and definitely not pork. So really the only type of real meat you'll ever see us making is just turkey meat, natural turkey meat. We make turkey burgers with it and we do eat a ton of fish. I just wanna sum up really quick about my diet. I would say, honestly, it's it's just as natural as I can make it. I'm not vegan, obviously, you know that. I'm not vegetarian or anything. And I just can't cut certain things out of my diet. Like It's not in me to do it. I've been working out a lot lately, so I'm trying to eat to kind of help with that. So I wanna gain muscle, so I'm eating a lot of protein. As you can see, with all the turkey meat, I'm not strict uh, with myself. Like I do not count calories, just I don't. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat, I don't care. And uh, I don't deprive myself. And if I'm ever craving something super sweet or just something out of the ordinary, I'm gonna eat it. Because you know what, uh, you gotta live a little bit for real. I can honestly say the good thing about, for the most part, eating clean, eating healthy, and working out regularly is your body naturally kind of starts not craving those bad things. I can definitely vouch for that, and I think James can too. He's over there somewhere. Um, but yeah, you're just naturally, your body adapts, and then the thought of nasty things just aren't, it's just not appetizing. So. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. We get back to the rest of the video. I just wanted to clarify that in case you're wondering like what kind of diet I go on. I just, it's just, just natural forms of everything, but I don't cut anything out really, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. I would say the ratio of my diet is um, high natural fat intake, then followed by protein intake, and last but not least, very low natural carbs. With a high natural fat diet and low carbs, your body enters a state of ketosis, which will naturally burn your fat rather than storing it. Mmm. What you got, mama? All right, so this is the final piece here. Yes, I tried to make it really beautiful. This is like a taco bowl without the carbs. So you got the taco meat with sauteed onion. We got some, uh, we put a little bit of shredded um, Mexican cheese on top, just a little bit some cherry tomatoes, some homemade guacamole, and of course I had to put sour cream because I don't cut sour cream out of my diet, all right? I just will never do that. I love sour cream. It's my favorite condiment in the world. I did go light with it, so it's okay. Last but not least, what I drizzle on top or pretty much saturate it with is um, this tequila lime tomatillo sauce. If you have not tried this deliciousness of a sauce, you need to pick it up right now, especially if you like Mexican flavored meals. Add this to any meal. There's nothing bad about it. It's delicious, guys. Tequila lime tomatillo, okay? We add it into everything. So basically, we're just gonna eat this for the rest of the night, and we got some of these. We love these Terra original root chips. So they're like vegetable chips. Very natural version of chips. 
because we're kind of living it up because it's Super Bowl Sunday. All right, guys, so we're gonna go eat and we're gonna veg out and relax. So that's pretty much what I eat in a day. Oh, that's it. And if I get hungry later, I'll probably just have something super light, like a banana or like cottage cheese. I like to eat that before bed. It holds you over real nice, a lot of protein. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. And happy Super Bowl Sunday. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mwah.